Hello everybody. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be covering some unique and rare outfits that you might wanna check out. And some of these will be easier to find than others, so, but let's get into the video. So the first outfit is the Tattered Mole outfit. And this one's fairly easy to get, you just may have to hop servers. So you're gonna to wanna to come over to Dolly Sod's Wilderness over here. Now once you get here, there might be a bear there, so just, you know, be careful. There's going to be some ticks as well, so, you know, just be prepared for that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to run over here. So basically just turn left, go past this cabin, and then you're going to want to go up to this cabin. And like I said, there are going to be some ticks around, so just be careful, you know, they're pretty easy to kill. And what you're going to be doing is getting into the attic, basically, of this place. Now it is behind a locked door, but even without marsupial, I've made this jump before. So you can just come back here where I just did, get onto the roof. And then when you fall through the roof, um, yeah, you don't need to get past the locked door. Now you can see I came here and it wasn't here, but I just hopped servers. Literally the next server I went on to, I came over here and both the suit and the hat or the helmet or whatever you want to call it was here. So sometimes they're both here, sometimes one is here. You may have to hop servers a couple times, but fairly easy to get. Another fairly easy outfit to get is the skeleton costume outfit. And I'm going to show you where to get that, which is at the pumpkin house, if you haven't heard of it. Pretty cool place, if you haven't. And it's right here on the map. Um, there's a mission there. I'm not going to spoil anything. You might want to check out as well. Very cool uh, area. But anyway, the mask for the skeleton outfit is over here on a gentleman on a wheelchair right here. Um, again, you may have to hop servers. It might not be there. It just means someone else came and took it. Most likely. And to get the outfit, you're going to want to come to the North Mountain Lookout place here. There's also a ranger outfit here if you're interested in that. Um, a witch hat as well. And the outfit for the skeleton is right here. So now you have a complete skeleton outfit if you'd like. Um, another outfit is the Civil War outfit. And... Just to point out that the red bandana doesn't come with this, I just kind of threw that in there because I thought it looked cool. But you can get various bandanas at um, train stations and the White Spring Resorts, so if you're looking for that. Now, I didn't have this place marked, but it's the cemetery right beside the Palace of the Winding Path, which is very north of the map. And it's just a big cemetery marker on the map. It's very easy to find, and you'll come over here and discover it. Very easy to find. And there's going to be like a bunch of display cases in here that you can open up. There's more outfits than the uh, Civil War outfit. And yeah, you might want to just come over here and, you know, check out some of the outfits. There's definitely some um, uh, black powder weapons over here you might be interested in. And just keep in mind that there are some dogs here, some other enemies that may give you a little bit of trouble. But not too much. And as you can see, you just hit the button and you can grab some of these outfits. And don't forget to go upstairs too. There's more up there as well. Um, there wasn't any here for me, but thankfully I already had the outfit, so I was able to show it. But yeah, just I just wanted to throw out, don't forget to go upstairs. There are some more outfits. Couple of stim packs, you know, just gathering some junk. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit more of a rare outfit. And this is the blue caravan outfit. It comes, you can actually get the flag here, which I'm showing, the backpack I showed, the helmet, and the outfit. And you get it from doing this event that I'm going to show right here. And you have to come to Big Ben Tunnel East to activate it. And the event is called Riding Shotgun. It'll start up when you come over here and talk to this fellow right here named Vinny. Um, if it doesn't activate, it's because somebody has already activated within the last couple hours. I think it has like a two or three hour, maybe even an hour cooldown. But I don't see a lot of people doing it, so you should just be able to come over here and activate it. And then you're just gonna, you know, come over here and follow this person into the uh, tunnel here. Now this isn't a hard event, it's just a little bit tricky finding the packages. But all you're gonna be doing is just defending this um, caravan right here as they travel through the tunnel. And yeah, it's a pretty cool event, but what you're going to be doing is looking for these wooden crates with the Blue Ridge supplies in it. And you need to find all four in order to get the rare 
um, items, I think. I'm pretty sure. That or it's a better chance. But a trick to do that is, is they're going to want you to open this door in, at the middle of the tunnel. Don't open it. Just jump down like I showed there and start wandering around and looking for these supplies. They're in the tunnels and they're just, they could be anywhere to be honest. You'll get familiar with the spawn locations as you do this event. It's really not hard and it is a fun event. I've done it a hundred times. And then once you're done getting them all the way through the ti or the uh, tunnel, you will have um, a chance to get one of these rare items, whether it's the flag, the backpack, the helmet, or the outfit. Um, I didn't get one here, um, but I did get a pepperoni roll, which will increase your carry weight. You will get one of those more often than not. Like I said, this is a little bit more of some rare items, but you do get them. And like I said, it's a fun event, so it's not too bad to grind. So another rare outfit is the Blood Eagle Skull Lord outfit, I think it's called. Skull, Skull Lord outfit, I think it is, but it's a Blood Eagle outfit, if I'm not mistaken. And you get this by doing the daily ops. Now, that's easier said than done. Some of the daily ops can definitely be tricky, but, you know, if you can complete them, then I do recommend them because it has a lot of great rewards, including this outfit. And, yeah, so once you're done completing a daily op you have a chance to get the helmet and the outfit so unfortunately you have to get two pieces to complete this outfit which are both extremely rare to get from the daily ops um i've probably done you know like three four five hundreds of daily ops and only gotten the mask and the outfit maybe 10 times combined but yeah you can get it anyway this was five rare or and or <laughs> unique outfits i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching everybody and have a great night